If you are obsessed with chrome or glazed nails, this video is going to be for you. What's up, nail crew? It's Nicole, your fellow nail obsessed DIYer, and we are going to be doing everything chrome. We are doing 10 different kinds of nails that I have been dying to do for so long, and we're gonna do them all today and show you how much fun you can have with chromes. I'm starting first with Nail Thoughts. It's a new gel I tried. This gorgeous sheer pink color that I tried is called Rose Quartz, and I have been wanting to try a pink Kaylee Bieber glaze nail look. I'm using Pearly Shine that I used, the OG Chrome that I used back when I did uh, a couple months ago. I did the Hailey Bieber glaze nails look, the glaze donut nails looks. And I wanted to try with pink because this light pink, I felt like it would give it such a gorgeous tint to it. I only applied one coat of the pink and then I fully cured that for 60 seconds. Then I did a layer of gel top coat and flash cure that for 10 seconds. That's my go-to when I'm chroming. Then I just rubbed the chrome in. Look at that. It is so so stunning, so gorgeous. It gives this pearly pink effect. And anytime I'm doing chrome, I like to do a layer of gel base, fully cure that, and then gel top and fully cure that. That's what I'm going to be doing on all the nails here because that's what I do on my nails. It just helps lock in the chrome really well, and then I don't get any peeling. Next, I'm going to be using one of my favorite gels, a little Stitches from OG Dip Powder, and show you what the difference is when you have one chrome, because I'm going to be using Pearly Shine again. One chrome can give you so many different looks wait until you see the color like what it's like this ice blue when you chrome it I mean I don't know these unicorn chromes are basically magic I haven't figured out how they work yet nor will I probably try uh because they're just amazing I mean that is one chrome one on pink and one on black the next chrome look we're going to be doing is a crombre okay I don't even know if that's a term it's a chrome it's an ombre it's you're doing an ombre with two chrome colors I wanted to do a layer of white just to really make sure that the chrome colors pop so I did one layer of white gel fully cured that then I did a layer of gel top coat and flash cure that and I'm using these little eyeshadow applicators I got a huge pack off Amazon I will make sure that I link that in the description and all you have to do it is like the easiest ombre I have ever done I just rubbed the purple in and then rubbed the blue in the two chromes that I'm using are called shimmering silent I can't talk shimmering siren and whimsical waves whimsical waves is the blue and shimmering siren is the purple all, then to get them to ombre together, you, you take the end of the eyeshadow applicator brush and just rub it in together right where they meet. And that is it. Anytime that you're also doing chromes, after you've rubbed them in, I like to then finish curing. So I'll finish curing for another 30 seconds before I go apply gel base and gel top over that just to make sure that that layer is fully cured as well. This next color that I'm using is called Peach Base. It's also from Nail Thoughts. It's the other color that I got from them, and it's this gorgeous peach color. I did do two layers of it. I, I wanted like a little bit more of a peach payout. And then I wanted to show you how you can encapsulate glitters over top of cr a chromed nail and encapsulate them with builder gel. And it really just gives this cool effect that like the glitters are kind of floating underneath and top of the chrome. So I picked, I don't even know where I got these glitters from. Okay, I have so, so many glitters that just like little random glitters and I don't usually use hearts so I saw these and I was like oh this is gonna be perfect for like some kind of valentine's day nail I placed them with a wax tool and then use this little flashlight it's a curing it's a flash curing flashlight that I got off Amazon I'll make sure to link that as well it's so nice for when you're using gels I used it in my Hailey Bieber Halloween Manny where I flash cured bats over top of my nail it was it was super super fun so clearly I'm obsessed with chromes so if you are also obsessed with chromes make sure that you subscribe because we are are going to be doing lots of chromes in 2023 because my obsession is definitely going nowhere for chromes and I'm also going to be working on figuring out how to chrome without gels that is going to be my next thing I'd like to try working on with chrome because I know everybody can't use gels so once you apply the builder gel on you fully cure the builder gel for 60 seconds and then you can file after you wipe off the tacky layer, you can just file it down and it files so beautifully. Then you apply gel base and gel top and boom, your beautiful chrome builder gel encapsulated mani is done. Now this next color is one of my favorite colors I own that I'm using as a base. It's the Gel Care Coconut Milk. It's this gorgeous white coconut or it's this gorgeous milky white. Then I wanted to do a French chrome. So it's like the French version of the Hailey Bieber Chrome Glaze Donut Nails. 
And where you use a milky white as your base and then you use an opaque white to do your actual like French tip part. Now, <laughs> I'm struggling a little bit on the French tip part. I'm not going to lie. I cut out a bunch of stuff on the video because I didn't want to make this super long. I did not realize how much harder it is to do a French on a fake nail like I'm using here instead of on my actual skin. And <laughs> I use that little butterfly. I used that from my last video I just did. It was a $30 sheen haul of all the nail supplies I could possibly get and that was one of them and look at how amazing this chrome looks. The chrome is called Briar Rose and it has this gorgeous blue, pink, green, and purple tint to it. So I mean look at how it shifts. Then I finished curing that and then applied gel base and gel top over it and this was probably one of my favorite ones I've done. The next nail that we're doing is after you see me spill it is a chrome dip powder. It's not just a chrome it's also a dip powder. All of these other all these other ones that I'm using are just chrome powders. This one's an actual chrome dip powder. So if you can't use gels, you can apply this and that's the look you're going to get. You can apply it with just dip liquids and you'll get that gorgeous chrome type effect. But if you love your gels and you want it to be chromed, you can also take the, take the chrome dip and chrome it into itself. So anytime you hear me saying chrome something into itself, this is what it means. You dip one layer of it and then you use that dip to chrome into over top of the dipped color and it gives you this gorgeous purpley bluish I don't even know but man it's called full moon it is stunning I did this in a mani a while back I'll make sure I link that video in my comments as well Anytime you're using these chromes, it looks like there's extra powder on top of them. Just take a clean eyeshadow brush and dust off any excess before you go and you finish curing or cure on top of that with your gel base and your gel top. This way it'll just give you that really nice smooth application. Now I'm going to be doing a really fun one. I had to bust out some more with the white and black gels because not everybody is going to have lots of colors. And something else that I want to make sure I say is if you don't have some unicorn chromes and you don't have a bunch of different gel colors no need to worry you can use all your different dip colors that you have like dip through activation so you can use your dip liquids or your gel liquids if you're using dip liquids you dip through your activator you can file buff and shape and then you'd start using your gels like I'm doing here your gel base your gel top and use your chrome so you don't have to have a ton of gels you can just have your gel base and your gel top and you can do these all with dip powder as your base now I want to try this one it's super fun I want to take some silver foils and just place them over top of a chrome nail to see what kind of effect it would do. I wanted to see like if it kind of makes the chrome pop how it looked and I loved the final look on that. It was just so pretty and I felt like it added like a little bit of something fun to it and a little bit different. Now the next nail that I'm going to be doing I'm using white as a base and I wanted to practice doing some kind of like little dots on my nails. I wanted them to look like kind of like oceany watery type dots like that they were kind of falling down. I don't know dripping dots. It didn't quite look like that you'll see here but the result was super fun you'll take gel base and you'll put it over your color whatever color you're doing then you'll take a little bit of gel top from like a nail art palette like I use that little butterfly and you'll put it in drops all over the chrome before you go when you finish curing the chrome because most of your chrome then has been rubbed into the gel base and watch what happened so I took that I had that gel base I rubbed the chrome in and then once I fully cured the gel top that I put over top of the dots I made, you take ice purple alcohol and a lymph-free wipe and you wipe off the chrome. So you're just left with what you fully cured under the gel top. It's just such a cool different look. I can't wait to play around with that one a little more. That one's super fun. Then I went back to a little stitches gel because I had a couple other ideas I wanted to do. This one here, I'm so excited to show you guys. This chrome is called Ride the Wave and it has a bluish tint to it, but when you put it over black, look at the color it makes it makes this gorgeous bronzy gold color like again how is that even possible it's these unicorn chromes I'm telling you they are some serious magic I want to do something really fun with this one so I went in with my cocoist I don't know if I'm saying that right I could be totally butchering it it's this foil gel that I tried and I have been so excited to try it. their foil gels they're not HEMA free so I have to be super super careful because I'm only trying to use HEMA free gels but let me tell you this foil 
foil gel was phenomenal. I took some random foils that I got off Amazon for this look that I'm gonna do. And whenever you're working with foil gel, you wanna make sure you fully cure it and then let it cool. Letting it cool is the key to getting your foil application to look really nice or else it's gonna be kind of sticky and weird and not transfer the entire image. In a nail look like this, it's very abstract. It's okay if like all of your foil doesn't transfer, but when you're doing a full foil transfer, you definitely wanna make sure your nail has totally, totally cooled off before you go applying any foils. The next one that I'm gonna be using, the next chrome, is this gorgeous dark chrome called He's Her Lobster. A dark chrome such as this one does not need any color underneath it. It chromes so dark on its own that you don't need to put any kind of color base under it. You can just start chroming right over top of the gel top coat. You do still need to do a layer of gel base, fully cure that, and then flash cure a layer of gel top coat. Now, I wanted to see what a chrome would look like matte, so first I did a matte gel top coat after I fully cured the chrome and <laughs> I did put gel base under it but somehow I missed a little spot so you could see a little bit there where it's actually not fully matte because I somehow I don't know what I was doing it was really late I was tired somehow I missed it and once I fully cure the matte I took gel top coat and I applied some onto the matte top coat and I wanted to show how you can sugar a glitter over top of a chrome it looks so cool I, I went with like a little funky design I don't know what I was going for I first want to do like just a straight line and then I decided to do this like random little swoop out thing at the bottom and once I saw what it looked like so I took some nail clippers and just snipped off the bottom so I didn't have to look at that because you really want to use a fine glitter and that works so well here are all 10 of these gorgeous looks let me know in the comments which is your favorite check out this next video on how to do easy glaze chrome nails thanks so much for joining me today nail crew